Hey guys, what's going on? This is Deadly, and today we're going to be talking about some of the news surrounding Daisy's development. There was just a brand new status report that was updated to Daisy.com. We're going to be taking a look at the status report. I'm not going to be reading it word for word, but I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the new things that were updated to the Trello and also some of the new models that were added specifically for the airplane. Three new renders came out for the Bumblebee airplane. As you can see, you're looking inside of the cockpit right here. It is a two-seater uh, biplane and hopefully it's gonna have a large cargo space because I think an airplane like this going from like Beloda to Northeast to Northwest is going to need some level of capacity for carrying around supplies. Uh, and as you can see, it is only two seater, so you're not gonna be able to take your entire squad uh, from location to location. We're gonna have to wait for helicopters. One of my fondest memories from DayZ Mod was seeing people try to fly the biplanes under the silos in Cherno. So I'm really excited to see some of that stuff again and just running around the wilderness and just hearing the roar of the engine and seeing somebody flying around this thing. It's just gonna add a new level of depth to the game. So pumped for that. Now this made some waves on Reddit last week. I did make a video for this specifically because it's just one thing, uh, but last week this was uploaded to the Trello and it looks like there's a player in the back of a vehicle, a sedan, who's actually got his gun raised. So you're finally going to be able to eventually do uh, drive-by shootings, things like that, or even potentially take somebody hostage and force them to drive the vehicle for you. Next, we have some brand new footage from Daisy's forms. Uh, I asked Brian if I had the ability to put this in this video and he actually gave me permission to show it off. Uh, so this is some of the deer that are running around. It looks like their animations have actually been polished up a little bit. They're no longer looking like they're taking part in Tokyo Drift. We also have some footage of him killing some zombies with a Glock and him also being chased down by predator wolves. You can also see that the debug monitor for 0.61 is also present. Uh, I'm assuming this will just be for experimental and not for stable. You all right? There's a f pack of wolves near me. Oh shit. Like they all just set off right near me. Like oh. They're coming for me, Doran. Gotta run, son. I can f***ing hear them. I'm not gonna make it out of here. One down. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. So next in the status report, Hicks says that there are 11 major things that are holding back points to squad for experimental, and until those are close to complete or if not resolved, uh, we won't be seeing it on the experimental branch. Uh, these main uh, must fix issues are client crash after exiting the title, player sound effects are near silent, players can become severely out of sync, some firearms are not firing on the first mouse click, player positions stuttering under uh, 100 plus MS on network conditions, uh, some light conditions not casting proper shadows, known .60 item duplicating methods, magazine capacity issues, new methods of players swimming in the ground, UI zeroing not present, and Glock muzzle flash slash sound effects not present uh, for other players. We also have an update from Peter saying that they're extremely close to the next big step in Daisy's development, which is the player controller. Uh, the current animation system is being completely reworked, and I'm super excited to see that. We're also seeing a rework with all of the current weapons, sway, holding their breaths, and how damage and recoil work with all of the weapons in the game currently. So it looks like there's a lot of overhaul in that area of player control and also weapon control as well. 
Well, guys, that sums up today's update on the Daisy news uh, from the new status report. What do you guys think? Please do let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys during the daily live streams every single morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time.